Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shala Malawson. On today's bulletin, a boy from Harare is killed in a car accident. Activists say the empowerment of women is critical for a country's development. Music fans are thrilled at Africa Unity Square. And more and more fans are smuggling booze into football stadiums. Residents in Harare's White Cliff suburb are bitter over the failure by traffic police to enforce a residential speed limit. This follows an accident in which a boy aged five was killed on Tuesday morning while crossing a highway that passes through the suburb. Margaret Chirairo reports. A five-year-old boy was hit by a car while crossing Harare Blawayo Highway with his siblings near White Cliff. The boy died on the spot, but his siblings escaped unhurt. A witness said the three children were holding each other's hands while crossing the highway before one of them was hit by the car. ATV spoke to some residents who were angered by the accident. <laughs> The roads it's too much, The residents said speeding was to blame and that the local authorities should move with speed to put road signs and other mechanisms to help motorists reduce speed. Others put blame on witchcraft, alleging that a woman who was a passenger in the car that hit the boy had been seen at three different accident scenes along the same highway. The police declined to comment on the matter. Traffic accidents are a major cause of death in Zimbabwe and human error has been cited as the major cause of the accidents. Reporting for ATV, I am Margaret Chirairo, Whitecliff, Harare, Zimbabwe. Activists say putting women's empowerment issues on the national agenda is the cornerstone of development for most countries in the third world. Margaret Chirairo gives us the report. Countries have been urged to mainstream women's empowerment issues in national programs as this is critical for socio-economic development of any country, women activists said recently. Delegates said this at the just-ended 6th World Women's President Forum, which was held in the capital to explore ways of enhancing efforts to empower women. The conference was held under the theme, Sustainable Development Through University Partnerships to Empower Women for Leadership Roles. The influence is each country. When you go back, each president, can you go back to influence your students, your faculty, and people in your country. I was very surprised about this conference. It's very, very successful. Universities can partner in such a way that um, women are empowered uh, by bringing together their um, uh, human resources and shared materials, publications, and, uh, and other uh, resources that will help the women uh, to, to be better uh, trained this is the first time that an African country has hosted such a conference and participants called on African government to take the issue of women's empowerment seriously to move the continent forward. I think that says it should be able to be, become a, a forum or a channel through which good ideas for implementation in relation to gender equality can be put either into practice in universities where that's within their ambit to do or put forward to government to say government needs to legislate and make these things law. Having seen what happened 
during these two weeks, we had enough background power, enough information to say, yes, we are capable of forming an African chapter, which will definitely be affiliated to the mother body in China. The World Women University Development Forum was launched in 2001 by the Communication University of China with the aim of drawing together strands of women university leaders from all over the world to share ideas and experience on women empowerment. The forum advocates for the promotion of gender equality and empowerment among women of the world. Reporting for ATV, I am Margaret Chirairo in Harare, Zimbabwe. Africa Unity Square entertained Dendera music stars Sulumani Chumbetu and Ya Breza, who thrilled scores of fans who gathered at a function organized by a retail supermarket chain. Muchaneta Chimuka gives us more. <laughs> Sambo Edendera, Sulumani Chimbetu na Japreza Vakana kizaba nupache na mungu wa pupi ya darika Mutambo ui wakaiti wa muafrika Unisque Wakarongwa nene Food World Wakaiti wa zubara kacheka njikashwa Kapamika na kuvanu vima zera ese Kutivange vari po This is the first time that we've done this And uh, it's, it's, it's actually special Because uh, we've never uh, wasted a promotion Where customers have to win cards And uh, this is the first time. Mutashu anota oraneshe kukosha kwemi tambo ya ruzi uru muupenyu wevanu. And we are certainly going to be giving out to various children's homes, various old people's homes. You, you might remember that it's, uh, recently we gave out to Bumunzo I mean, Bum old people's home, and we also have given out so many goodies to various uh, children's homes that include St. Joseph's and uh, SOS. So certainly the, the, the community will benefit out of this uh, promotion. Chitiko, it is a very good time to Rujinji, Vamu Vakainda, one name in Bairo Midiki. This is a negative by Imbi Ava, Vanakuzo, and Amukana Mukurukura and Imturu in our ATV. Vakarati is a Nikutamba, Junusamura. Mitambo i Irukurongwa nene Food World Irukwe endera mberi Ichitua ichipa zaobani uh, We have launched it today and uh, that means it, it will actually run from the 18th of uh, August up to the 3rd of November where we are going to conduct a final draw So there are 11 cars that, that customers tend to win Ndini mjarwe na wa ATV Mchanita chimuka ndiri muharare Zimbabwe Despite the tight security at the gates, football fans are still finding tricks to sneak booze into the main soccer sporting arena in Bulawayo, fueling alcohol-related antisocial behavior. Chris Pintabura reports. Soccer fans are smuggling booze into Babafid Stadium, venue of most of the city's Castle Laga Premier League matches, driving up cases of hooliganism. Alcohol is prohibited and several incidents of violence have led to the premature terminating of soccer matches. ATV recently captured illegal beer peddlers selling spirits on the terraces of the popular Soweto Bay at Babafield Stadium. Some soccer fans were seen drinking a highly intoxicating alcohol brand called Tatangao smuggled from neighboring Mozambique. Hooliganism is now a big problem, and some fans are now calling on the football authorities to take urgent steps to stop the rot. The police have fought running battles with hooligans at several games played in the city in recent weeks. A Bulawayo police spokesman refused to comment on the matter. Reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night. <laughs>